As you know, my name is Kain Tong, the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to show you how to build a data frame, a Pandas data frame in Python using Jupyter Notebook and then add rows to the data frame. So you can see this table here. So Pandas represents data in a data frame just like table, uh, just like rows and columns, as you can see. But how do you build this up in Python? So this is my website. You can visit this website. I'm going to show you how to, or you can check the, script, uh, the description box of this video. You'll see a link to my website. Or you can just go to Kyneton the Genius. Or you can just go to Google, type Kyneton the Genius. Kyneton the Genius, maybe one word, maybe three words. And you can find my website right here. I can just go to data science here and just come here. You find all the steps I'm going to take right now. All right, since I know these steps, let's build up the data frame. So basically, let me just show you. So there is a data frame. We want to build this up in Pandas, in Jupyter Notebook for sure, or Python, and then uh, display it in Jupyter Notebook. So the first thing you want to do, let me start uh, using a brand new notebook file, new Python 3 notebook. So the first thing you want to do is to import Pandas. Again, if this is informative for you, please subscribe to my channel. Import Pandas as PD, uh, as PD. And then you want to define your data frame. Basically, you simply specify the columns. I mean, I mean the columns of your data frame, like name, age, and height. That are the columns of our data frame. So I'm going to define our data frame. I'm going to call it df equal to pd dot create pd dot data frame. So is that that should be? I think they call it Pascal case pd dot data frame, and then you specify columns. Columns, if I get it correctly, equal to, and you specify a list of columns, names, a uh, column, column name as string. So lists of string. So uh, this is age, and so what you, you what you specify as the I content of this string is the is the column names, the names what you want to use as a column. All right, so. I'm now going to, or maybe I can just add one more thing here. I can just say uh, location. Okay. Yeah, so I've created my data frame. So if I run it, this is fine. And if I say DF, you can see it shows us we have a data frame. How then do we add some items, for instance, these items to our data frame? Normally, in, in, a, in a real uh, situation, you might actually use a loop. And that's what we are going to be doing after now, when we are going to read a JSON, as I told you before now. We read a JSON and import it into our data, our Pandas data frame. But for now, I want you to understand how to work with a data frame. Now, there are two ways you can add data to data frame. You can actually use either um, uh, the LOC, the lock, or the append. So those I explained well in my website. So you can see using lock. And the second one is using append. <clears throat> so let's add some data using lock and then add another data using append. So df.lock, you specify the row header you want. So I mean the row index, not the row header. And you then specify a list again, just the same way you specify the, the, the column as a list. You specify the list of items you want. In this case, I want to add my name, Kainson, and age 39, um, uh, height 186, and what next location is Budapest. Okay, okay, that is fine. So if I check the data frame at this point, let's see. So you can see that I've added one item. So basically, this is how to add items onto the data frame using lock. So let me just add two more items. I'm going to add uh, a friend of mine. And then I'm going to add another friend of mine. And finally, I'm going to add Uh, Kuma, a, a friend of mine as well. This guy lives in Bangalore. Okay, so let me just leave everything the way it is. Let me just change up things a bit. Um, okay, 
So if I do this, you can see oh what happens. Um okay, so let me just run, run. Ah, so you can see I'm I didn't change this LOC, so I'm gonna just change it to two and change this one to three. So if I run it now we have all the items we've added. Alright, we've used LOC, but now this requires a loop. So if you have several items coming as a JSON or as a dictionary or, or some series of items coming, you can loop through and then be adding uh, one item uh, after another. There's another way you can add items. In this case, you don't need to keep track of the the, 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 the row indexes of 0, 1, 2, 3. So you can use df.append. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to now use df.append and then specify as a dictionary you specify as a dictionary the items you want to add so this is going to be the dictionary of items is going to be uh, specified in curly braces and also you need um another parameter that says ignore ignore index so you have to, don't worry about the index, it's gonna choose the next available index for you. So you need to specify a dictionary of items you wanna add. And, and of course, you know the dictionary has name value, name value. So in this case, name, you specify age, you specify height and location. So I'm gonna say name and the name, and then specify the name, let's say, uh, So you can now see that using the using the append kind of takes uh, more a bit more stressful and age. So you specify age two and height. If I'm not mistaken, height is fifty six and location. I think Nigeria all right so now I'm going to run this and you can see it's going to I hope it works I'm going to run okay so let's see so you can see it added right here so you can use df.append but you can see now that we don't specify the the or the row index but we have to specify the uh, as a dictionary the par the 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 row as a dictionary, which actually I think is a bit more um, verbose than this one. So this is how to build up your your data frame. So I started from this, you build up your data frame, specify a, a columns as a list of items, and then you can either use df.log or df.append. I'm going to stop here. And in the next part, I would like to talk about iLock. Uh, I would like to talk about iLock. So you have this iLock here. And also have to tell you about formatting table and as I promised you I'm also going to see tell you how to uh, format this JSON coming as a JSON data to display it in pandas data frame I'm going to stop here for now please subscribe to my channel visit my website to find all the step-by-steps and the code snippets and we see in the nice parts